Welcome to another Garmin Instinct 2 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the sensors on the Garmin Instinct 2. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate the sensors for the altimeter, the barometer, and the compass on your Garmin Instinct 2. So this will make them more accurate. It may help if you're having any issues when using these different sensors on the watch. You can ensure that they'll be ready for you to use when you do need them. All right, so to calibrate these sensors, First thing to open the menu, and we do that by simply holding the up button on the Garmin Instinct 2, just for a second or two, and then use the down button to scroll down until we get to sensors and accessories and go ahead and select that using the GPS button. So in here you can see all the different sensors that are available. The first one I'll be showing you how to calibrate is going to be the compass, so select that. Now I put the Instinct 2 on my wrist for this because I have to move it in a particular way for it to calibrate. So I'm going to go in, select calibrate, and then select start. And then as you can see, you kind of want to move it in a figure eight back and forth motion like this. And as you can see, it was very quickly calibrated. So now I can select OK, and the compass has been calibrated. Now I can go back, go down to altimeter, select that, and I can go into calibrate right here. And we have several different ways to calibrate our elevation. So first we can enter manually what our current elevation is, and then that will help it. Below entering manually, we have DEM, which will use Garmin's maps to determine our elevation. So it's going to figure out where we're at and then based on whatever their maps say, that will be the elevation used to calibrate the altimeter. We can also use GPS, which will, it will calculate our GPS using satellites and then whatever it calculates as our elevation that way will be the elevation for calibrating. Now I've heard arguments between both of these, but I recommend just testing it out and seeing what is the most accurate for you. I'm just going to do DEM real quick because I found that that works great for me. So I'll select it, it's gonna acquire the satellites, and then rather than using the GPS information as the elevation, it's going to determine my location with the satellite, and then based on the information it has for that location, that will be the elevation set. All right, so it just found it, and that's the altitude currently, so I'm gonna select that, and then that will calibrate the altimeter. Now I can go back and we can do the barometer. So select that, so I'll select Calibrate, we can enter manually and use the same options that we had for the altimeter. I'll just do DEM, and there we go. So now I have calibrated all three sensors on my Garmin Instinct 2, and they should be ready for me to use whenever I do. All right, so that's how you calibrate the sensors on the Garmin Instinct 2. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Instinct 2 tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.